Oh, it's been like a nightmare. But today is the better part. Oh, yes. A sentiment being repeated by the parents of more than 400 children taken from a polygamous group's ranch in West Texas. Great, wonderful. We're so, so grateful. Monday, the children of the sect began returning to the arms of their tearful parents, hours after a judge bowed to a state Supreme Court ruling that the seizure was not justified. Are you here to pick up your, your children, sir? Yes, sir. The young children are being released after two months in state custody. Much of it spent in foster care centers like this one in San Antonio. How does it feel to be reunited with your kids? Wonderful. How many kids do you have here? Wow. Monday's order does come with a few requirements. The FLDS parents must stay in Texas and attend parenting classes. Further, the state will be allowed to examine children for abuse. It allows for our investigation to continue. We have concerns about the safety of these children. We've had concerns since April 3rd and we continue to have concerns. Not every child may make it back here to the Yearning for Zion Ranch. That's because their parents have relocated to the towns where their children were once kept in foster care. In the FLDS church, all marriages are consensual. Church elders are implementing a new policy, saying they will forbid any girl to marry who is not of legal consent age in the state where she lives. That it will not preside over any marriage of any woman under the age of legal consent in the jurisdiction in which the marriage takes place. The state of Texas had originally argued all in the polygamist group's ranch in El Dorado were in immediate danger from what it said was sexual abuse of teenage girls. But Texas officials were not able to provide any proof of the alleged abuse. John Moe, the Associated Press, El Dorado, Texas.